Hey, 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 everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Star Delta 9. I'm going to be doing a collective reading for the sign of Aries for December 2021. If you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so, so much for being here. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing, won't you? I'd love, love, love to have you. How you doing, Aries? Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're doing well. I pulled three of the uh, Sacred Travelers for you and three of the Fairy Cards for you out of the Brian Freud Fairy Dick. Let me cut these and clear the energy, please. Spirit angels and guides, please clear the energy for Aries. Nothing but love and light. Show me clearly love and light with messages for Aries. Spirit, thank you. Could not do this without you, Spirit. So the first one I pulled for you was Solitude. So you're in some sort of solitude in silence, retreating in silence of some sort. Um, Spirit's showing me in silence, peace sometimes prevails and we find the messages that we're seeking when we quiet the mind and go within. So Aries, you may be going within right now and seeking some solitude. In the current energy is clearing waters, cleansing waters. So you're purifying something and activating some sort of vibrant life force within. Spirit says, lie back in the cool waters and allow them to cool and cleanse you from things that no longer serve you. And the outcome for you, Aries, is stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measures. Reminds me of the hermit in this deck because he's all alone. He has his back turned from the people that he's leaving here on the card and a lantern. So it kind of reminds me of the hermit, like you're going within Aries to find out something. On the Brian Freud's, I pulled the Bright Mother. The Bright Mother is some sort of creative endeavor, some sort of birthing of a new idea, a new relationship, a creative endeavor, a job, a relationship, a baby, a wedding. She's birthing something. She's holding that crystal ball and she's birthing something. She's very vulnerable. She's very creative, very nurturing, and very loving mother. That may be you. You may be that loving mother. And Tatiana the Sphinx is in your current energy. And when this fairy comes in, this fairy comes in fast and hard and she sprinkles fairy dust all over the place and she's very powerful with creative ideas imagination and these are the elementals from outside the fairies and so someone is sprinkling you with some creative ideas with the bright mother here you're birthing something your outcome card is the guide and yeah it's blank and the reason it's blank is because it's your intuition. This would be your higher guide, you. You need to go within, and that's probably why you're in solitude, cleansing some sort of negativity or something that no longer serves you, and you're going to step in your power. And so you might not know who your inner guide or your higher, in, you know, angel or fairy is that's going to help and guide you on your path so you can meditate and ask spirit to give you some sort of symbol or an idea of what it your fairy your guide your higher ascended master looks like and you can jot it down you can sketch it aries I know what mine look like and this is my deck and I'm not a very good artist so I haven't drawn it on the card, but I have a perfect image of my higher being. So ask spirit to help you. I'm sure she'll guide you, darling. 
Spirit, angels, and guides, can you show me 11 cards for Aries? Why am I doing the reading for Aries, Spirit? Why am I doing the reading for Aries here? What's going on with my Aries babies? What's going on? So right away in the center of the reading, we have a page of cups. Very sweet, naive, very innocent, maybe a little immature. So you might be dealing with someone that's younger than you. You might have some sort of news coming your way it looks like he's holding a let me close this i was reading the fairy book let me close this uh he's got some a cup in his hand so he might be bringing you some sort of cup of emotion some sort of offer of love here crossing you is the three of wands so Spirit asks, you're looking out into that horizon there, right? You have some sort of cooperation going on, but you're looking out beyond that for your success. So you might be taking some sort of adventure here, Aries. You might be going somewhere. Crowning energies, the devil. Hmm. Okay. Four of wands is the past. Foundations here. Justice. The two of swords in, is uh, out front. Aries is positioned square. Wow, that flew way over there. A tower. The seven of swords. Ooh. And your hopes and fears, Aries. The Hierophant, the Outcome Spirit. So two came out. So right now you might be feeling like you're in the Eight of Swords energy here a little bit. But we have to try to remember mental energy is sword. So the Wheel of Fortune is on the bottom of the deck. So something came in quickly, unexpected, Aries. And so let's get into this and see what's going on here. So you might be dealing with someone that's younger than you with the Page of Cups here. He might be coming in, bringing you some sort of offer of news, some sort of interest in it. But he might be younger or she might be younger uh, it, than you are, or you are younger than them. And you have the three of wands here saying that this is some sort of partnership that you have, that you're looking in the horizons in front of you for. He's looking out towards the, towards the lights out there for that adventure, that action he's going to take. So let's see. Let's clarify these. I'm going to use the right waiter deck to clarify spirit. Let's clarify this uh, emotional offer of love news from the page that's a little immature. And why are we looking ahead in some sort of cooperative partnership for Aries? What's this three of wands spirit? So you have the Six of Cups, but the Six of Cups came out in reverse. So some sort of friendship, something that you're disappointed in. Wow. The Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so some sort of friendship or some sort of past partnership that you're disappointed in. And you're... You're sitting in the Queen of Cups energy, a very loving, intuitive mother. She's a Gemini, Cancer. And then there again with the Page of Cups. So you have the Page clarifying the Page of Cups that there might be an offer coming to you that's a little immature, maybe uh, not appropriate at this time right and and that fish might just flop out of there but it's coming but whatever it is it's going to create a ten of swords energy it's going to be a failure on someone's part they will be defeated and it won't work the offer won't be accepted the ten of swords is Virgo you saying 
Uh, no, that's an ending. Mm -hmm. Because there's a death to a situation here. I've placed a death to a situation with the Ten of Swords and a death. I'm tired of feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is here saying this has to do with some sort of abilities I have. Success enterprise that I've worked really, really hard on. And in the crowning energies, the devil. So something came in that was a downfall. It was unexpected. Capricorn. Why the devil spirit? So a knight of cups. Okay. So a knight may have came in and brought you an offer that was not on the up and up and that came from, you know, the devil showed up as a knight bringing you an emotional offer and you're pouring truth into that water with the star card and healing. Aries, you're healing. What is... The healing spirit, that's Aquarius. That's having balance, pleasure, optimism. Mm, okay. It's a victory on your part, Aries, or someone's part. There is an eight of cups here. So there is some sort of either a turnaround where you're going to go down the mountain, come back around, pick up those cups, and you're going to do a reconciliation with someone, or you're walking away from something and you're healing from that deceitful devil energy surrounding a page or a knight bringing you these immature inappropriate offers that have to do with some sort of unexpected disaster that comes in and it's a victory on someone's part and then the four of wands here so the four of wands to me can be a whole lot of things celebration weddings and so forth but it can also to me be like you're finding some sort of completion in this cycle and you're celebrating it so i think this is a completion of a of a cycle you've closed there are things that were probably extreme with the Seven of Cups. You didn't know what was up with the Seven of Cups. Things were good and things were bad and things were in between, right? You, not everything in those cups were good. So there was some illusion and delusionment going on. And the Page of Swords and may have brought you some sensitive information surrounding this. But it was truthful information, so you're on your guard about it. What is this information? Because that's a page comes in and he'll stress that truth. And it might be it might be surrounding some sort of contract. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. So it has to do with your wealth, health, prosperity, and stability, right? And then you have the high priestess in reverse. This this may have been information that came to you that someone was selfish, right? Or selfless, or you were selfless. Very shallow misunderstanding or ignorance was at play. And it was happening to an empress, a developed woman, right? She's developed in mind, body, and soul, and she's birthing something. She has wisdom, patience. She moderates herself. She's the empress for Christ's sake. And justice is in your foundation. So you're receiving justice and equal give and take with Libra with reciprocity here. So Spirit's bringing you justice surrounding feeling left out in the cold and this death in the center that the Ten of Swords has been placed in, right? What is this justice, Spirit? What is the justice? Clarify the justice for us, please. Thank you. I clarified by justice. I can't make this up. Double clarification by justice. So this empress received some sensitive information that may have been surrounding a contract. This fell right on the empress. Mm. Shit. That left her feeling in the nine of swords energy, right? Right through the third eye, the throat chakra, and her heart chakra. Broke her heart. Kept her up at night. Delusion. 3 a.m. Right? 
Why the Nine of Swords? I mean, it doesn't take that. It's a lot of anxiety going on. Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. So I think, okay, yes, ma'am, I hear you. This, this Empress found out someone was being selfish and the information was brought to her. She didn't know what was what to believe because there were things that was causing confusion and, and she didn't know what was up. There were illusions going on. And it surrounded a seven of swords in the upright position. That's betrayal, right? So she's seeking counseling now regarding this anxiety and this betrayal. And she's getting double clarification of justice. So someone betrayed this empress and gave her extreme pain and anxiety. Kept her up at 3 a.m. with a nine of swords. You may be dealing with the Gemini. To a queen of wands in reverse. Jealous, jealous, jealous. Someone was jealous. To a two of wands, impatient or very, very domineering. You know, you know your story. But this queen of wands, she's not happy. She's, there's a lot of gloom and doom going on when she's in the reverse position, this queen. This queen of wands is jealous, revengeful, and she's, uh, there's even infidelity at play. And then the two of wands is telling me it was, maybe somebody was very domineering or very impatient. And that's why she, she's in reverse. Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse? Why is she in reverse? She's very jealous in the reverse position. Re resent, revenge. Well, I can't even get the word out. Page of Wands. Spirit saying, this is good news to you that you came into this information. And it's been truth. Spirit's brought you truth. And there's a two of swords out front. So Aries, it's saying that this has caused a grave imbalance for you. Clarify the two of swords. I mean, the two of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, you, you might be dealing with to the hermit. It's caused an imbalance because this is an indecision, right? You have your swords up, but you're blindfolded. And maybe you're blindfolded because you don't, didn't want to see the truth. Sometimes the truth is not always easy to see. And so you've taken yourself into hermit mode, Gemini again, or Virgo, into introspection, right? To gain some sort of healing. In the crowning energy, you have the star here for healing. So this is a cycle change in the world, as I say, it is on the bottom. And you're experiencing this tower right now, or it's just recently happened. Why the hermit? Why the hermit? What's the introspection? Because, you know, you go into hermit mode, Virgo, right, to gain introspection, strength, prudence, and, and to heal yourself. And there it is. The Hierophant, right? So this was surrounding a traditional relationship, some sort of traditional relationship you had with someone, and you're holding strong to your values. The Hierophant means that, you know, you're forgiving and you, you, you know, I, but you're not going to conform. She will conform if it serves her. That's Taurus again. Why the Hierophant? Why is the Hierophant here? The sun is shining and it has to do with an emperor in reverse. So someone that was uh, my way, the highway, like I said earlier down here, domineering, and right? And was very domineering, my way, the highway, narcissistic, even codependent, some sort of addiction or bondage, toxic relationship to a king of wands. You are a passionate, good leader. You are taking on a passionate, good leader's energy, Aries. And you're not putting up with that shit. And you are out, baby. Look at that. Flew right on that. The tower is here in your energy, Aries. So that's telling me that spirit came in, knocked on the door. The stars here. It's all over the table. This is a awakening to a situation 
and a closure in a cycle with a relationship with a partner has to do with just like what I just said, a partnership, right? And this tower came in because spirit wanted to show you that this partnership, maybe you've come to a truce at this point, but this partnership was built on the faulty foundation. Sorry, that was my tent light. And therefore spirit tore it down so that you could possibly rebuild another. And that's probably why you have the Eight of Cups here in the crowning energy. Are you going to reconcile and go back around and do this again with this person? Or is it an absolute closure and death because you're tired of being left out into the cold and you don't want any more swords placed in your back? That's what I think. And so the tower has already happened and maybe you and your partner have come to some sort of truce at this point. But in your environment is the seven of swords, a betrayal. You came into light about a betrayal that this emperor in reverse betrayed you. What was this betrayal spirit? What was this betrayal? That's why you're in solitude and cleansing energy. Ask your spirit angels and guides to show you your higher ascended master and ask for guidance. Ask them for a symbolic symbolism, a picture in your mind's eye that you can see. See? Hangman. But the hangman on the seven of swords is in the reverse position. So you feel like this relationship has been a useless sacrifice for you. Spirits temperancing you. That was on the bottom. The hangman in reverse. Why? Mm -hmm, I hear you, spirit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's saying you need to temperance and moderate the situation and yourself. You don't need to react and respond out of anger or fear. Think about what you're doing. Stay in this hermit mode because your outcome is the magician. So you're manifesting something. And in your hopes and fears is the harfant. Again, double clarification. So this is a huge awakening, Aries, that you're going through. And in the outcome, you're manifesting something, darling. And the Four of Wands coming up on top of this Hierophant says, again, this is some sort of huge completion with the Four of Wands. Just like I was saying, some sort of cycle completion. And you do forgive and you will conform as long as it serves you and the other partner, right? So you may be sitting in this solitude energy right now, single. You can take care of yourself, right? The nine of uh, pentacles, she's not just single. She's able to financially and emotionally and spiritually take care of herself. And the page of I was going to say wands. The page of pentacles comes out in reverse and says, this person did not let your talent shine. They didn't see you for who you were worth. They didn't see your worth at all. You see? And things were really slow. Why the page of pentacles in reverse? I mean, don't be impatient, okay? Just sit back and 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 breathe. Don't be impatient because you're manifesting something. Remember that where we place our thoughts, energy follows. So make sure you're placing good thoughts. Seven of Wands. It, it's been it's been a tough, I know, when you're standing your higher ground, Aries. Mm. The Seven of Wands, you're standing your higher ground here, Leo, right? Saying, I, is this a victory for me? But it's been obstinate and it's not been without hell and pain. That's why I'm up at 3 a.m. down here with the Nine of Swords energy. And this has all been good news to you, see? See, you can't make this shit up. Untie yourself, unblindfold yourself, Aries. You have seen the truth, spirits brought it to you. Strength again on top of the magician surrounding a 10 of pentacles your wealth your prosperity your stability so you're manifesting wealth health 
prosperity and stability for yourself. And Spirit's saying, just be strong, be patient, moderate. Again, Leo, you might be dealing with a Leo. Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus. Ace of Swords. Spirit brought you the truth with the Ace of Swords that somebody was possibly juggling you and did not see your worth and there was not equal balance and give and take in a situation. With that Two of Pentacles there. Give me one to close this for Aries, Spirit. Thank you so much. I mean, this was a missed opportunity or a slothy uh, misfortune on their part because you have your head down now and you're building and you're just waiting to harvest the ships that are coming in for you. You don't mind starting at the bottom either. You've kept one pentacle for yourself and you've planted the other six, right? So you're building, developing, and you're coming into success and you are reevaluating a situation. One more. You may be reevaluating this reconciliation. Okay, so the Three of Cups in reverse is saying this has been a painful situation. And there might even be people that are gossiping, Aries, but let them gossip, right? Let them gossip. It was a hidden overindulgence that you didn't know about. So you can't blame yourself for that. And spirits brought you the truth, right? And brought you two aces on the board and a spiritual awakening with a cycle closure and a completion and celebration. And you sitting in the manifestation energy, baby, manifesting like a mofo with strength, Aries, strength. And you're manifesting your wealth, prosperity, health, and stability. Way to go, Aries. What a beautiful reading. Please sound off in the comment section below. You know that's your section. Please only take what fits. Leave the rest. Spirit just uses me as a vehicle to channel energies for you guys. So I hope you got something out of this. Merry Christmas to you, Aries, and your family. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Namaste.